De stora vattenflödena som kommit de senaste... Det har spelade barnvallar har tvingat SD att stoppa all tågtrafik till och från mellan Sverige. I Järkvissle några mil från Sund. Och människor har även idag evakuerats från sina hem. We've all seen pictures from flooded areas on TV. People on rooftops rescued by helicopters, cars floating away in the water. To start building walls of sandbags takes time. It's heavy and requires many helpful volunteers. On top of it all, there will be a lot of sand to take away when it's all over. Now there is a solution at hand. The Swedish company NOAC has developed the tube wall, a mobile flood barrier so light it can be handled by just two persons. The NOAC tube wall consists of air-filled tubes which are linked together like a chain. The tube wall is available in three heights, 50 centimeters, 70 centimeters and one meter. The tube can rapidly be filled with air. A 10 meter section can be filled within five minutes. The tubes are kept in place by a skirt, which is pressed to the ground by the rising water. A 75 centimeter high by 10 meter long tube section weighs only 50 kilos, but it is anchored by more than 10 tons of the flooding water itself. The ground doesn't need to be even. Roads and lawns are fine, as well as natural ground. Avoid putting the tube wall on gravel or on mud without any vegetation. Be aware of wells and underground drainage systems through which the water can seep in. Try to drag the defense line behind such wells and pipes. Any alternative ways for the water to get to the house must be plugged. Roll out the tube section approximately to where it is supposed to be placed and adjust its position by pulling it on the ground. Keep it straight while pulling it so as not to get creases on the skirt. Every tube has two or three valves. Open the valve by pressing down the lid inside the valve and twisting it. A blower using ordinary 220 volt current fills the tube with air. Continue blowing until the blower sounds strained. This is an indication that the pressure level is okay. With this type of blower, there is no risk of the pressure getting too high. Close the valve by pressing the lid inside and twisting it the other way. Repeat this procedure with the next tube. Carry, roll out, fill with air.
The tubes can be linked in a straight line or at an angle up to 90 degrees in either direction. The ends of the tubes must be pressed together tightly, especially if they are linked at an angle. The tube sections are zipped together using a special joint cover. All models use the same joint cover. Tubes of different sizes can also be joined together in this way. If the tubes are joined at an angle, you might need two joint covers since there will be a longer distance between the zippers. If you have excess cover, just fold it neatly and place a heavy object on top to keep it fixed. By attaching air tubes, all the tubes can be joined into one volume of air. In this way, the air pressure of the whole tube wall needs only to be controlled from one point. A pressure guard connected to a compressor does the job. If air is leaking somewhere, lowering the pressure, the pressure guard will react and the pressure will be restored. Now there is only one thing missing, a pump. A certain amount of water leaking in under the wall is to be expected. Water which has seeped into the earth will also ooze out onto the dry side. Rain and small brooks can also increase water levels and must be pumped out. Now we can relax.